Alright, hello and welcome fellow users of the internet. My name is Noah and you're watching Asphodel Merchants. Alright, this week was Ravnica Remastered release weekend. I played at my normal local game store and picked up a few things. I did win both of the drafts. I'll talk about that more here in a minute. This was the Niv Mazette um, retro participation promo. It uh, is worthless, but I guess it is pretty cool. Um, don't get too excited about this Sacred Foundry. It is in fact, been ripped in half. Uh, the guys at my... This is from that video I made of them playing Flip It or Rip It. Maybe you can catch it right here. But I mean, maybe it's still sleeve playable. I mean, I think it is, but we'll, we'll see. Hopefully I'll never need to submit an event since this is my fifth copy. Um, picked up a Clothis because I need one for my sideboard in uh, Modern. Uh, picked up another Aklazots because I only have an alt art one and I think I like the regular art better. And just a couple of few other cards. I definitely like picked up more cards, but these were just in a certain pile. And I got uh, this Spark Double was my pick one, pack one in one of the drafts, but it just blue didn't come to me. I think my opponent to my right, the guy passing me the whole time, was definitely in blue for whatever reason. So yeah, these four packs are what I want on Saturday. Um, this is my deck. Don't have quite enough room to fan it out. Had a Blazing Archon. I was just regular Orzov. Had the Blind Obedience. I had three copies of Blind Hunter. Let's carry that and pull them out because they stole the show, if you ask me. The, probably the best gold common in the set. This card just does so much. Card's absolutely sick. Thug, Azorius Arrestor, Cartel Aristocrats was pretty sick. Whenever you uh, had Cartel Aristocrats and you could just sacrifice Blind Hunter, haunt something else, sacrifice it. The protection didn't really come up any, but it was still cool. Ill-Gotten Inheritance was an absolute all-star in Ravnica Allegiance. Same thing here. Uh, Golgari Guild Mage was just, I needed a two-drop, and I think I acted the ability like twice. Basilica Guards. Um, not exactly as good as I had hoped, but was still really good. In, in the matchup, it was good. It was just really good. Stab Wound, still a classic. Great. Uh, Ghost Way was really happy to see it. Um, it did great in its games. Too bad it's down to, like, a dollar. Another Basilic Guard Summary. Orzov Gilgate. And here are my basic lands. Don't know if I've ever showed you guys these, but, uh, I have a set of eight... of each basic land from Ravnica Allegiance. I bet you guys, I don't know if some of you guys remember, but these foil basics only came in the uh, bundles. Whenever the, like, for the longest time, bundles just came with 80 basic lands, and then bundles came with uh, 75 regular lands and 5 foils for, like, just these... <clears throat> For Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance. And I bought and bought and bought bundles until I finally uh, got the set. And that's why we will never stop opening bundles on this channel. Um, here was my... Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Alright. Don't want to mess up my order. I had a plan for how I was going to do this. So let's just go ahead and open Saturday's prize packs to see if it was worth the drive. Considering the fact my deck is straight worthless. Oh man. I did not pull tab hard enough. Wait, here we go. Alright, Angel, Zori Skillgate, Boros Skillgate, Seal of the Guild Pack, straight worthless. We get a cool, we got a remand. Mm, Blade Juggler, that might almost be the first pick in this pack. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to cast that. Oh, uh, no, Gate Colossus. Just take Gate Colossus and then take literally every gate I see for the rest of the draft. Alright, Elf Knight, Elf Good Knight. Need to look at the screen so look at my hands. Alright, Legion War Boss. That is a cool card at least. Light at the stage. Great uncommon. Oh, is that our only rare in the pack? Okay, that's fine. Is it Utopia Sprawl? I don't think there was anything that, like, really jumped out as me as being, like, a really expensive uncommon or whatever. 
Legion War Boss is at least cool. Alright, Sapperling. Do we okay, 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 we got a Borealis card of some kind. Burning Prophet. Goblin Electromancer Retro. And Prime Speaker Zagana Borderless. Womp womp. Card sucks. Thug, Worm Colt, another Mayhem Devil. I wonder if Mayhem Devil's still a dollar. Alright, one chance for Saturday. Alright, Spirit, Orzov Gilgate, Loaming Shaman, Expansion Explosion. Hell yeah. This is one heck of a magic card. Ooh, it's Lightning Helix. Oh my god. Okay, I think I now have a playset of Lightning Helixes. Not like I couldn't have had a playset of Lightning Helixes at my absolute leisure, but... You know, okay, wait a minute. I've got a pile of stuff I would care about. Helix, Prov, not, not a... Okay. Sorry, bear with me while I fix these piles. I guess that's... It doesn't look good, but I'm still going to keep up with it. Prime Speaker, Thug... Thug matters just because it says dredge on it. I think I have the correct rarity sabotages. Guild mage. Yeah, I'll pull out Utopia Sprawl. Might get around to selling play sets of those for a dollar. I think the only card in this whole pack was remand. Alright, so that's Understandable. Saturday was a wash. That'll just happen sometimes. Okay. Here is our real poll. Uh, hope you guys didn't think this was a full box. If that counts as a clickbait thumbnail, I apologize, but I still have to do it. I also just wanted the box art in the thing. So, I also want to try... Oh, yeah. I think these things out. I even wrote them down. I'll go ahead and show you the deck that won on... Friday night, had a dread boar, was pretty sure I was black at the end of pack one, because I opened, we'll find that card first, pick one, pack my, one was Midnight Reaper, it was pretty sick, so that led us to black, pack two, we picked dread boar, was like, okay, let's be Rakdos, felt like red was a suspiciously less open than it should have been, but it still worked out, and then we got his critics, I got, so, here's another thing. I got Rakdos, Lord of Riots, pick, uh, pack three, pick one, at the expense of a watery grave. So we at least gotta find one card in these ten packs that makes me not regret just taking my easy money watery grave. Goblin, Demir Gilgate, Worm Quill, Persistent Petitioner, that's a buck, Tomic of Worthless, Eyes Everywhere, Is It Charm, is at least cool, Moistress, I don't think there's any common, like, no, there is Persistent Petitioners, that is a reason to look through the commons in this, but only barely. Cannot wait for this box to fade every mythic and every expensive card. All right. We've got our token. We've got our guild gate. We got a uh, totally lost Nivmazet Perun. That is my just dessert. If I open this at draft, I'm totally slamming it and jamming. Is it so hard to an absolute falter? Cards so good. All right, and all these other cards are blade juggler. Getting these open, probably should have opened these a little bit faster to try and do a better job getting under the falling knife, but that's easier said than done. Okay, Dark Confidant Retro. That is, hopefully, what we will call a hit. Maybe it's still $5? I'm not even joking, I think it's about that cheap. Fine Broker, Angelic Exaltation, Gather Courage, Open the Gates for Repeal, Disembowel, 
Come on, get out of here. Sorry. My computer just randomly decided to open a Microsoft Edge tab that I didn't want. Alright, Rhino token. You know what? 44 Rhino Trample token is probably actually like a thing to pick up. I'm gonna call that a hit. Okay, face fetters, like best one of the best commons in the whole set, if not the best common. This card just does so much. Only knock against it is it's an aura, and uh, it, you could get blown out, maybe. All right, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, cool card. Too bad I couldn't have opened more of these when it was legal and standard. Ultimate Prize Guild Mage, check partitioner, partitioners check nothing. Ooh, Line Hunter. Shouldn't sell those. Shouldn't even put those in my bolt. They just deserve more. Elfkinite, Elfkinite. Is it Signet Cartel Aristocrat? <laughs> Stitch in Time Retro, lame. Fiend Petitioners, okay, Petitioners have been checked off. Stitch in Time, it's funny, I'll probably go through this later and not give away the tokens for Bolt. Maybe not the Signets. All right, Snapperling Time, Guildgate, Orsav Guildgate. Gosh, having to open double Guildgates in a pack is such a tilt. All right, Eva Herald, terrible rare. True Fire Captain, Wobringer Demon, mm, Petitioner's Check, nothing. Worm. No. Okay, Gilgate. We've got Foil Retro Gargari, Golgari Grave Troll, baby. Now I own five. Too bad this card's like mega worthless. Alright, Debt to the Deathless. Okay, we got another rare. We got Mind Leech Mass. I don't know how that was supposed to work. Ugh, like what, are the, what is this order? Like Retro Foil Rare. Retro from Uncommon, another rare. How many uncommons are in this pack? Like five? There's two rares. No, there's two rares and four uncommons in this pack. Like what what is going on some days? Blade Brand mugging. Okay. Man, we're about to be up you know, a third of a box, no shocks. Alright, Angel, okay. Uh, thankfully I complained just enough and got a Temple Garden. One of the only shocks I wouldn't sell because I don't think I have four yet. That's a hit. Cloud Fin Raptor of Not Impressive. Uh, Warren Warden, um, one of the split cards. They're all pretty weak. But this one's kind of cool. Shark to Crab, Loaming Shaman. Petitioner's check. No petitioner. Gablon Shaman, is it Gilgate? Vindictive Vampire Retro, Life from the Loam, Borderless. I wonder if I'll finally play Dredge. Dredge, Cackling Drake. Another Remand. I can go in the hit pile. Wild Cantor. Maybe think about pulling out all the Wild Cantors. They're legal on Popper now. They might have already been. Actually, I think they already were. Wild Cantor, like. Been thinking about a Baru in Modern with Cantor. It's probably not good though. All right, Spirit, Golgari Signet, this thingy, Thrash Threat, mm, a Skull Crack. You always need more Skull Cracks. Siege Worm, our Boil Grazer is actually a hit. Impulsive Research, Embrace. To just a quick, uh, pet another quick petitioners and a boreal grazer check. Hmm. 
Okay, didn't miss anything obvious. All right, how many minutes is that? Okay, that's a 15-minute video. Probably too much for that many packs, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a ton for the algorithm and whatnot. Leave a comment talking about whatever you want to see me be doing. Um, please share this content with anybody who you think might enjoy it. It would be an amazing help. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, I am. I had some other Ravnica videos planned out, but I didn't end up making them because of some time constraints. But hopefully those things are going to be over soon. And I think I've... Yeah, I'm just going to have some better videos coming up on the way. Thank you guys all so much for your time again. Okay, and uh, this is actually a cool little thing. I was going to make a whole video about the draft archetypes, and they just show you right here. But yeah, either way, thank you guys again for your time. I truly do appreciate it, oh, and I will hopefully see you all again soon.